The ferret was used widely around the world for internal security roles, by which time nearly 4,500 vehicles had been built for over 30 countries. This is a Mark 1 ferret, 1958, with a Rolls-Royce straight-six engine, which they called a B60. I see a man who had it, as one does, and there it was for sale. It looked like we needed a coat of paint, so I bought it. Um, paint stripped it all the way down, repainted it. Inside I've um, sealed it up again. In the engine side of it, didn't need too much work, mainly a brand new carburetor, a bit of haggling with the, uh, the store holders to get the price down. It's probably been to Hong Kong, Singapore, and places like that over its years, or in service with the British Army. It's so 1958, and it came out of service in 1989. The, uh, the airborne troops themselves used these on, uh, in 1960 onwards, in the brigade jumps. Well, the main use for ferrets uh, were used for reconnaissance patrols, go out forward, the little tanks went out to find out where the big tanks were, and then come back and report that the enemy were around in the locations where they were. Inside we have a two Wacom, commander sits above, I'm the driver, he tells me left, right, because once these hatches are up, I'm a limited vision of um, just the periscopes. Uh, to drive one, it's quite easy, the steering is very light, it's a pre-select gearbox, so you get used to it after a while, it's like driving an RT bus or something like that, it's the same principle. But it's a 4x4, constant 4x4 all the time. Very good to uh, drive cross country and uh, very positive on, on the throttle. It does go very fast. The, the, uh, the Army had them set at 50 miles an hour, no faster than 50, but uh, most people know if you take the governors off, they will go up to 80, no problem on the motorway. It's exempt from MOT, being that uh, it can't be tested because of the, um, the age, no screen wash, um, no wipers, um, the field mission test goes on and on and on. They just can't test it, so you have to sign a form saying that this vehicle is safe to go on the road, which is down to the people who own them. You'd be surprised on the insurance. The insurance on this is £85, full com. The family think I'm a right nutcase. My neighbours get on very well with me because it sits in the front garden. My friends, they don't mind. You always get the, the, uh, the usual jokes about the ferret. Not the one down the trousers, of course. So here's the Mark II. It has this manually rotated turret. Uh, in automotive terms, they're all the same. Rolls-Royce six-cylinder. We have five forward speeds and five reverse. So we finally think we can go as fast as we can in backwards as we can in forward. But the stopping power is um, a little bit. It's got normal brake drums. Um, you have to rely on the gears, pre and pre-select. You need to use your gears and the brakes at the same time to stop it. Plus we're carrying four tons of uh, armour. You can go just as far backwards as you can forwards. What you normally do is fire off the smoke discharges, create a smoke screen around it, and then back off. You'll see these smoke discharges on a lot of vehicles around the place. They're very short, six inches long. Well, this one I'm in at the moment, which is based as a reconnaissance troll for the uh, British Airborne, um, for the Remy section, for light uh, recovery as well. Uh, they were dropped in Hercules aircraft and Beverly's aircraft on the platforms. Around about 1960 they started using them quite a lot. And after that they had the other tank that came along which was mainly the, uh, the Scorpion which took this roll out. The size inside, you can get, on this one, because it's a Mark 1, we can probably get three crew. But when you get the Mark 2s, the Mark 3s, the Mark 4s, the Mark 5s, they're a bit more uh, with guns on top and uh, more ammo to carry. So you can only get two man crew. The gun on top of this one is the, uh, the brain gun, which is a 1943 brain gun. Um, some of them have different guns, it all depends what uh, year, what service they've done. Because the fact was in the British Army quite some time. Even, they came out even the early in the 50s, went into service right up to 89. Even the last Gulf War, they were still using ferrets, which was the Mark V ferret. The ferret was used widely around the world for internal security roles by which time nearly 4,500 vehicles had been built for over 30 countries.